So welcome back to part two, and this is stage two. That's better. So welcome back to part two of a headliner, and this is stage two. So in the end of the last video, I was using a bit of clear cut, clear cut, clear coat just to fix it together so we can actually move it as one lump. Now we've done that, we're moving on to getting one good level on it so we can actually put it back in the car without falling apart. Now I'm using the same thing I did before, your simple basic uh, paper mache type design. So these are the pads I'm using. This is all it is. It's like a recycled um, fabric, spill pad. You get them in garages. I mean, a pack of 100 of these off our favourite auction site was about a fiver. So they're well worth it. They're really absorbent, which is also, they're quite transparent as well. So when you're putting glue on, it does go through. And what we're using is simple contracts PVA from Toolstation or any other PVA glue, really. And to be honest, doing all of this, all I've used is about that height, two of those. I've got about that much left, so that'll do. Let's do this last little patch. So we're dunking it on. I'll show you how we're doing it. Simple paintbrush. Flop it all on there like that. Once that's done, I've got a pre-cut a bit. Obviously it's not being perfect. Nice and sticks down, follows the contour nicely. And then all we're doing then, more PVA, like you would have done at school, with a balloon and some newspaper and some PVA glue. Slop, slop, slop. I say I'm not really being gentle with this, I'm putting plenty on there. And this is all cheap stuff, I mean this PVA glue, I'll end up using for some other job in the garage or whatever. And that was 11 quid for that and 46p for a paintbrush, a couple of those. So there we go, that is the headliner done. Not done. Strengthened, solid. So once that is dry, we'll leave that to dry. Yeah, we'll leave that to dry and that will be solid enough to pick up and wobble around. And then we can then turn it on its other side because there's a few points, the broken bits here, one at the front and two bits on the side. I want to turn it over and just do a little bit of repair on those. Now you want to do this stuff on the back of it, so what's going to go against the roof. Because if you see I've got lumps there where I have got other bits repaired in it, you don't want for say that bit and then putting material over the top because you'll see the lump from the underneath. So do all your bulk repairs and the rebuilding from the top. Then you can flip it over and you've got a couple of little bits to do. Once that's ready, then we can go to Hobbycraft and get some material. So I'll leave that to dry and I'll catch you when it's dried. So it's all dry, we flipped it over, just need to repair that little spot there and that spot there. And we're not repairing it just by covering it with a bit of felt really, just so it doesn't show through. This is our material we've gone for. We've glued that top corner as well, as you can see how nice it's going to look. And then this is actual roof liner material, foam backed. Really nice stuff and cheap, 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 which is good. Now get some clear spray glue. Nice big fan of spray all over it. Now what you want to do is get both sides, you're gluing together, sprayed. Leave it for a few minutes and then stick it together. So once both sides are glued and stuck, it should look something like this. Now I haven't trimmed anything by the sunroof area, so it fits perfect. There is a bit of a hangover on the front where it looks like it's creased, but don't worry, that'll be tucked under. So now back in the car gently without breaking it. As you can see, the weather was against me, so I was in a bit of a hurry to get this in the car before it starts hoofing down with the rain again. And then once that's done, window can just go back in so sun's come back out now put the window in pretty much on the reverse so put the bottom seal in over the lip first all down there and then go around and pull the rubber seal all back over and once it's all in what you want to do is give the window a gentle push with your palm I mean gentle and what this is doing is allowing the seal to just settle itself back in 
mainly in this top part. So again, put your hand on it, generate a bit of pressure and you'll feel it pop. And it's back in and looking lovely. And that is a hell of a lot better than it was before. So we've got the back panels in, you do the seat belts up, all the headliner clips are in, etc. That big trim is in the garage because it snapped in half when it got removed, so that's gluing. And now there's a few more clips to go on, sunroof seal, etc. But I'm not going to bore you going through all of it. It's just a reverse of when we took it off. But I am very impressed with how that's come out. So if you want to turn your sun visors from a dirty colour to the colour they should be, you can guess which one it is. Nice and clean, just use a bit of pink stuff. So headliner, that's all sorted, thankfully. Nightmare doing that, I don't like them. But anyway, I won't show you all the stuff screwing it back on because it's just screwing bits back on. Self-explanatory really. Um, material, now material, cost is down to me really. I don't want to be forking out five, six hundred pounds for a fully fledged full signal dancer one that can go straight in. So the material, if you Amazon, go on there and uh, search headliner material, roof liner material, that's where it was from. Now, the material we used to do that was 12 quid to the door. Fantastic material, you can't go wrong with that. Loads of different colours as you'd expect. Spray glue, two tins of that, £10 a tin from Tool Station or wherever else you want to buy it from, those places. So you got, what's that, 10, 20, 30 quid, 32 quid? from the headliner and you know a couple of hours of doing it yourself now that versus the ones you can buy five six hundred pound for one that's all ready to fit not spending that much and the other option is um, there's some you can buy for 150 odd quid so I've looked at those and they're 150 quid but that's 150 quid for just material not material the what are you going to call it? The base of the roof liner. So that doesn't inf include the material going on it, the glue you're going to use to stick the material on it, and it's got none of the holes are cut out. The sunroof from the pictures I looked was not even slightly cut out properly. So say say you bought one of those for 155, 150 quid, and then spent out well 30 on that, so 180 quid. So. My mass is terrible, 180, yeah, so you're 150 quid on top of what I spent to get another type of headliner. So there we go, so you've got 180 pound, give or take, or 30 quid the way I've done it, or five, six hundred pound for a fully fledged boom in looking brand new. The choice is yours, I've just shown you how I've done it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll drop some links to the materials I bought and the stuff I've used in the description below. If you haven't already, give us a like. If you like the video, give, click subscribe, because that always helps. And look forward to the next video, which is either gonna be more on the Mark I Golf, which probably won't actually, because that'll be the end of the week, but Tuesday we're going to Caffeine the Machine again, with about 40 other Mark II Golfs. So tune in for that one. Cheers for watching, have a good one.